Yes, sir, Mr. Stuchong, sir. Very well. Right, I'm introducing lot 44 now. We will call the name the lot 44 Enrage because of its tendency to... <laughs> nurse? <laughs> Hold on, no, no, no. Nurse! <laughs> <laughs> Come, Big Daddy. It's a one-way street. Take a man, graft the skin and organs straight into suit. Otherwise, your suit will not work. Ryan say Big Daddy too expensive. Ryan can go suck an egg. Very frustrating day. I can't seem to get the damn Big Daddies to imprint on the little brats. The protection bond is just not forming. Papa Chuchong. Get, 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 get away. Maybe if I modify the genetic sequence to... Shush! Sure! Uh, the sequence to allow for... Get away, you filthy little shit! What? What are you doing? Get, get, get back! Get back! Now you are having freedom. Su Chang's drugs should have no hold on you. Take the bathysphere to Point Prometheus. It is time for this matter to be settled. The minute we came here, Nasha started screaming, Mama, Mama, what is that? What is that? I thought she was having some kind of seizure. And then I realized, Trees! Trees! Never saw one before. Thought they were monsters. Oh, Sammy. Maybe we never should have come to this place. Darling Masha, we don't know what has happened to you. Ryan's men have taken you away and said you are needed to save a rapture. Who needs a child to save a city? I'm ready for dream time, Mr. B. But I, I see these little girls crawling out of these beds. <laughs> and I only wonder if you might one day crawl out of this vent and find this note. We look for you, but if you find this, come to us at the Fighting McDonald's in room number seven. We saw our Nasha today. We barely recognize her. That's her, Sam said. You're crazy, I tell them. That thing, that, that is our Masha. But he was right. She was drawing blood out of a corpse by Fontaine Fisheries. And then when she was done, she walked off hand in hand with one of those awful golems. Marshall! Made Ryan good mad when I started playing the charity angle. Fontaine's home for the poor. Before I knew it, I was calling myself Atlas and leading an army. Ryan and his precious rapture. You don't have to build a city to make people worship you. Just make the chumps believe they're worth the nickel. <laughs> you broke the spell! But laying all your chips on Mother Goose, it's not like you've never been double-crossed before. Hoof it to Point Prometheus. We'll discuss this like men. You, me, a submarine topside, and more Adam than you can possibly imagine. We're putting all the bathyspheres in lockdown until further notice. Ryan had us install some kind of genetic device into the thing, so only Ryan and his inner circle will be able to use them without dispensation. <laughs> but the, the keys are pretty unreliable. Sisters, cousins, anybody in the ballpark genetically will be able to come and go as they see fit. Are you looking to 
slug it out, I'm game. But I got all the atom in the city, pal, and I ain't shy about using it. And now, I'm Jake to take her out for a spin. What is this you wait for? Go and get this idiot! The mob's right behind me! I don't even want to see him walk! Something you and Frau Kraut. You keep on coming, and Rapture's a fish tank. Shy, you let him get away. Ah, oh, I need a moment for thinking. Ah, of course. Find a big daddy on Search's body. You see the suit's control system, get it. That is step one of turning you into one of those disgusting big daddies. The only way to get through that door Fontaine went through is to have a little one open it for you. And they will only trust you if you look like, sound like, and even smell like one of those big, stinky brutes. You're playing a bad hand, kid. You're just too spiced to smell it. Roll on back to Mother Goose now, or evidence gonna go bust up. Dr. Suchong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Baby is now a year old. Weighs 58 pounds and possesses gross musculature of a fit 19-year-old. The results are disappointing, but within expected tolerances. <laughs> oh! What is lost? Why are these boots here? They should be in fail-safe armored escorts. Uh, no matter. Take them, take them. You push me too far, kid. When you're cold and stiff, I'm gonna go over to Mother Goose's house and I'm gonna take it apart piece by piece and brat by brat. Consider it your legacy. I do hope that... All those years, we thought we were making progress with our skinner boxes and our electric shocks. What a waste of time. Until Adam, you can no more domesticate a child than a boa constrictor. Here is where you'll be finding the voice box to have sound like one of those big daddies, repulsive creatures. Fontaine gives a Suchong history for child that he wants to imprint in the child ahead. Not a person. A jukebox. Ready to play whatever tune Fontaine wants to hear. One down, two steps to go. Now, you need only to be finding the bodysuit and the pheromones from the other lab. Has Mother Goose really got her hooks into you? You can knock Ryan all you want, but the old man was bingo on one point of fact. You won't even walk till somebody says go. Did you talk to your puppy? She's very pretty. Thank you, Papa Sushan. Break her neck for me. What? Break that sweet puppy's neck. No, please. Break that puppy's neck. Would you kind of... Oh. <laughs> very good. This is where you find body suits. He can't take you think turning yourself into one of those tin men is a two-way street? The crowd's holding auditions for the Frankenstein parade, and you're first in line. Wunderbar. All you need now is helmet. Where are you gonna go? Your life? Your family? They're a fairy tale, kid. Poor best. Look at you. We will make Big Daddy out of you yet, I think. We bred little ones to imprint to certain smells, the pheromones. 
You'll need three industrial applications of this stuff. And then the little ones will be thrown to you like a bee to honey. Go to the Little Wonders Education Office. Look around you, kid. You think two-bit heroics count for a fig in this pit? You're staring down the puke stain of Ryan's busted dream. You think there's something worth saving down here? Then you deserve to gargle with the rest of these scrubs. Could I have made mistakes? One does not build cities if one is guided by doubt. But can one govern in absolute certainty? <gasps> I know that my beliefs have elevated me just as I know that the things I have rejected would have destroyed but the city. It's collapsing before my... Have I become so convinced by my own beliefs that I have stopped seeing the truth? Perhaps. But Atlas is out there and he aims to destroy me and to destroy my city. To question is to surrender. I will not question. Now this is a big daddy. I can only be glad I am nowhere near you and that awful sink. Now go to the little sister vent by the proving grounds. I turn tail if I were you, kid. Ain't nothing here for you but tears. <laughs> you know, you should be thanking me. I brought you here. I showed you who you are. Nobody never told you nothing but lies till I come along. You need to bring them out of hiding and then they'll let you in the door. Go on, hit the vent with your end. And better. It would mean very much to me if you will be gentle with the girls. Mein kleines Mädchen. needle of the little sister to drain Fontaine of his Adam. It is the only way to defeat him. Fontaine waits above. There will be no going back from here. Make sure you are ready to face him before moving on. I remember when he and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole but you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. Go! Go now! Hit him with the needle! I sent you topside. 
I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up and I tattooed inside your head. Yeah. Now, if you don't call that family, I don't know what it is. And now... Oh. They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. <laughs> <laughs>